All right, yo guys, Chow Beats here. Um, I just made this beat, and I figured I'd pull up OBS and show you how I did it. Um, when I first made this, I had no idea what I was going for. I just set a 110 BPM, and all I thought of was a simple kick drum pattern. And then after I did that, I'm like, you know what, this has got to be a Travis Scott type beat. Uh, so I did it. So Travis Scott type beat, uh, pretty much simple drums, slow, hard hitting synth bass uh that's how i started it off and then i just added some ambient uh kind of scary sounds if that makes sense uh like screeching uh different noises and then some perks that are just in the background here uh not many sounds there's only uh there's only 12 different sounds in here uh this is in the key of c minor uh, if you need to know that 107 bpm so i'll just show you what i uh originally started off with here this is what I really start off with, the uh, kick snare pattern. Chow beats. As you see here, simple kick, uh, right here. Nothing special, just like that, but it kind of sets a foundation. Uh, and then I wanted to put like kind of a, this kind of hi-hat, you know, where it's uh, stuttery and there's not a whole lot of it, so it's kind of just like, it sets a vibe, sets a tone. All this is already uh, mixed and all that too, if you're just wondering. Uh, I already have it all set up. Uh, nothing much on the kick or anything. Uh, that's the hi-hat there. Uh, the kick, all I do is put a little wave shaper on it and I just increase the lower to mid areas. And then uh, for the snare, I just increase the mid to kind of give it a harder hit here. Um, after that, I did the bath, uh, bath, synth bass here. Uh, I haven't mixed between the synth bass and actually an 808, but I started off with the synth bass first. Uh, this synth bass. Sorry, that's not it. Okay. Synth bass, where did I? Uh, here. There's a synth bass. Um, it's just in citrus and it's a synth two under the bass and it's just a simple bass here and i have a uh, little eq on it like that to increase the bass increase the sub take out the mid because uh, it had kind of like a farting effect and increase the mid a little bit there roll off the treble and it sounds like this all together So it has the hard hit of an 808, uh, but it's just, you know, a normal synth bass. Uh, I actually have the 808 here, um, right down here. It's just the same kick pattern. It's just kind of like a rolly 808, like a distorted one that's like rolled off. So it sounds like, uh, it sounds like this with uh, everything on it, if you took out the synth bass. Right here, I just have this open hat, nothing special uh, with it, just have it on the keyboard like that. Uh, this is a, another open hat down here. Uh, as well as here, I have a rim, the uh, Gucci Gang rim that is. A uh, little Vox, the like, uh, it's a reverse dolphin, it's this sound. And I reverse it and put a filter on it, so it sounds like this. And then I got the original, like the, yeah. That sound. Uh, so with all that together, it sounds like this. All right, so then I moved on to the uh, melody here. Now, this melody, or uh, sorry, this is the chords. Um, it's a weird sound. It's... Kind of like the uh, I don't know I got Travis Scott vibes from it. It's in Nexus. It's in the uh, Cold X Beats Nexus expansion. It's called Quite Quiet. Uh, no effects on it. Just increased reverb, and it sounds like this. So it's a weird noise. I know, but. 
it, it works, all right? And then after that, I kind of did, I wanted a, uh, after I made that, I wanted a very mellow melody, just a note or two that kind of had tension to it. And I did this. And I did a simple pattern, just like that. And I, this is in Nexus as well, and it is uh, some of the same expansion. It's Delayed Reaction Lead 26, and it sounds like this with the uh, chords in it. So it kind of sets up good because the third part of this chord here uh, is kind of a tension chord, and then you have two tensions before it, so it's like... Now this last one here is my melody I have, uh, sounds like this, and I made this kind of pattern. Uh, I didn't want to make anything musical about it, so I just kind of, I didn't put random notes, I did notes to sound good together, uh, but what I did to it was I actually put it in gross beat, if I can find it, there it is, I did a simple EQ as well, but I put it in gross beat and I put it in half time. So it's a weird little melody. This is what it sounds like on its own. It's nothing special on its own. But the thing about it is that it fits in the dead spots of the melody. So if I was just to just play the melodies together, it would sound a little bit like this. So if you hear what I'm saying, how it, it kind of just fits in together, uh, it fills in the dead spots. Otherwise, I just took out some stuff for the uh, verses. That's about it. I was gonna add a um, like a roll effect, but I didn't do that. And I just got my producer tag, and this is what it sounds like. This is also uh, available uh, for release or whatever you want to do. It's just gonna be on uh, my channel in the beat section. So here, here it is. I'll play the uh, I'll play the first minute. How about that? Travis Scott to you. Um, I said it's not a tight beat. I just made it, and after I got some things out, I got a little inspiration to make a Travis Scott type vibe. So, uh, yeah, this could be something for Astro World.